Good morning Taurus, welcome to your general reading. This is a Sun Moon Rising reading. My name is Clive. Welcome to Emery's Tarot. Here we go. Angel Spirits Guides, to whom I'm eternally grateful. What do we have for the sign of Taurus, please? What messages do you have for the sign of Taurus? You have Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Wow, well, Queen of Pentacles. In the past position, you have the Nine of Wands. You have Eight of Pentacles. A lot of slow-moving energy around you, Taurus. You're well in your power, though. You know, you're, you're being natural to yourself. You have the Four of Cups. You have the Queen of Wands. You have the High Priestess. You have the Challenge card, the Seven of Wands, and you have the Five of Swords. What I'm getting here, Taurus, is straight off the bat, is you are in the process of letting old values, okay? You're concentrating on something really new here. A work is high in your mind with uh, all this pentacle energy. In relationships, uh, I'm kind of getting a relationship that you've been struggling with. You know, this in, out, up and down, very challenging relationship. I am getting that you are, whatever this person is doing, you're kind of standing in your own creation of self-well-being. Okay, I'm getting that some of you are actually working a lot on yourselves. All right, you're working on your plans. You're working on your present situation. All right, in relationships, there is... The energy of being open-minded, okay. What I'm getting is here is communication coming in. All right. Now, there's a kind of a third-party obligation here, whether this is a child or your present situation or an ex, but what I'm getting here is you have a decision to make. The underlying energy here is one of slow progress, Okay, I'm getting here that you want a change of scenery. Money matters are high in your mind. In this particular reading, money matters and emotional matters are pretty much in linked very, very strongly. All right, you're willing to put the effort in. All right, this person that you are dealing with, they're getting in the energy where it's... Well, they're kind of taking a nap. They're kind of very quiet. It's like they want some solitude to give themselves time to think. Okay, this person is very, very passionate. Okay, about their beliefs. Very experienced person in life. Okay, but... Hmm... They they could well be in a position where they're concentrating on their work or their situation. I'm kind of getting it's that they're they're in like a comfort zone. They're being very practical. They're seeing to their present needs first. I'm getting they're going through a very challenging time here. All right, the obstacles between you and this person. They feel that can be worked out but it's going to take time all right there's a lot of practicality i'm getting here there was perhaps a lot of fantasizing in the past you know but now there's an opportunity to come and this this is all of a sudden getting real you know it's it's pretty kind of scary here and it's this this effort that you've been putting in you intend to see it through to the end okay and it's like there's a, despite the pessimism around this, all right, what I'm getting here is there's a relationship here that is not entirely finished. I'm getting here some unfinished business. But the moment the energy between you is kind of one of <sighs> taking a break. Fours to me are always taking a break. There's four of cups. All right. 
this person does want to be with you but they're not ready to make that move yet it's kind of like they're snubbing you I'm getting here that you've slowed right down your efforts to communicate with this person. I'm kind of getting that you gave it all you got in the past here, but it was a it was a struggle, and you've you've since got more practical with all this pentacle energy in around you now. You know, I'm, I'm kind of getting that you are slowing down your pace. I'm, I'm picking up this energy of more haste less speed in all your walks of life there is a chance of a reconciliation here but you're not it's like you've decided to back off a bit you're certainly in no hurry now i'm getting here that despite your wishes Uh, something here has distracted you. Could be another person here I'm getting. This person you're dealing with, there's there's been a break between you two and it's been very erratic. And it's like you focused on yourself, you, you focused on recovery and then all of a sudden this person wants to come back in causing a lot of stress here. There's a lot of control issues between you two. There's a clash of personalities I'm getting here. It's causing a very, very stressful situation. But you you are heavily burdened. This person seems to be coming towards you, but when they're ready, they're pretty much seeing being with you a very, very big challenge at the moment. They're trying to deal with it, but in their own time. Kind of getting there. They're not, they're not prepared enough. I'm picking up here, preparation is the challenge here. As I say, there was a lot of fantasizing, then all of a sudden the, the connection gets real. Uh, and you know, with distance and logistics, property, work, all coming to the fore here. And then it's kind of like, whoa, I need time to sort this out. It's just got real. I'm seeing a lot of potential here. There seems to be a lot of conflict going on behind the scenes here. So what have you seen, whatever situation you're in and whatever situation the person you're dealing with is in it's kind of like you're keeping the conflict hidden phew there's a lot of hidden conflict here this person is not ready to come forward yet they they want to come forward when they're ready, they're, they're of a non-committal energy at the moment. They're just, they're just dealing with a lot of stuff behind the scenes, unbeknown to you. you. You're very practically minded. You're very kind of in yourself, in your own power. Being, you've decided to be true to yourself. I'm getting here, there was a lot of persuasion in the past here. You tried to persuade this person to your way of thinking. To which you probably tried to control the situation in the past. But they're very, very strong in personality. So there's like a clash of personalities between you two.
What are your intentions for wanting this person back in your life? That's the question. There's, I'm picking up on an underlining energy of malevolence here, getting back at somebody. And the universe is kind of saying, be very careful of malevolence. You know, getting back with somebody just so that you can be the one to drop them or get your own back in some form. Not saying that's what you're doing, but I'll keep getting this underlining energy here. There's a very underlining conflictual energy. On the surface, it looks kind of like you know what you're doing. But there's this underlining, it's the reasoning behind it. I'm not saying that you're doing anything really, you know, malevolent or to get back at this person, but it's it's kind of what, what I'm getting is here it's in some form it's a payback. Well, I don't know what you're doing here, Taurus, but uh there is an opportunity between you. They don't see its potential, you do. It's, it's creating a, a non-conformist conflict between you two. In the near future, the very near future, next month, I can't see much movement until somebody decides to calm things down here. I'm going to leave that one with you. Bye for now.